Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you a very beautiful office wear neckline. I'm going to make that in a very plain color fabric. So this is a poplin fabric. It just looks absolutely like a cotton fabric, but it would be a little bit thick. It is not transparent, really a little bit thick than a cotton fabric. So these are the lace I'm going to combine with and it just just looks really beautiful with red color so I'd be either going with this gold color border or with a silver color border so any one of these lays I'm going to attach this to my neckline so now I show you how to make this a very simple and very very elegant office wear neckline so I do have a channel in Tamil so I do have plenty of videos also over there and I just want everyone to subscribe that channel also so I have set off uh, new content, new videos in my Tamil channel also. So let's get into the video. So I have just already made the shoulder, the armhole and the sides for my kurti. So uh, first I'm going to make the neckline. So you're going to first decide the neckline depth. So for me, the neckline depth from the shoulder is going to be like uh, 8 inches. So I'm going to give a mark for 8 inches. Okay. This is going to be the exact marking for my neckline from the shoulder. So you're going to go more than that. That is uh, from this point. I'm going to mark like uh, really like a 6 inch and I'm going to extend my neckline. This neckline is going to have a U half the way and from that it's going to have a nice and neat V. So well, let me show you how to cut that. So for me, I just want this U neckline till like uh, 6 inches from the top. So I'm going, just going to mark a line for 6 inches. And I'm going to draw a box like shape. And I'm going to give the U neckline for half of the neckline. And I'm going to have a V from that. So with my French curve, I'm just making a nice and really neat U at the top like this. And I'm going to continue by V from this point till here. It's going to be like a slanting line connecting the two points like this. And now I'm going to cut into the V till I get into my U neckline like this. So now I'm going to add the interfacing for my neckline. So make sure that the canvas folded edge should match the neckline like this. So I have folded the canvas in half and the folded edge of the neckline should meet the canvas like such. Okay. And make sure that you pin that in place so that the canvas doesn't move from the place. So add two or three pins at the exact margin of the neckline like this. And now I'm going to cut on the exact margin of my interfacing canvas like this. Okay. And now I'm going to take out the pin and I'm going to take my interfacing canvas out and this is how it looks and now I'm going to add some margin amount over the canvas for folding and I'm going to cut the same just leave a quarter inch or one inch of seam allowance like this and you're going to cut the neckline like this so now I show you how to attach a fabric to this interfacing canvas and uh, how to make this neckline. So you got going to cut a exact same like that. Like you're going to cut a lining for this interfacing canvas in the same method. And uh, I'm going to sew that lining on top of the interfacing canvas like this. So if you're regular to my channel, I at plenty of time I have made a video on how to make this interfacing canvas so this is how it's going to look so I'm just folding the raw edge on top of the interfacing canvas so now I'm going to attach this canvas to my kruti neckline like this okay and I'm going to pin that in place before sewing this so I'm just matching the exact points of the neckline like this okay and I'm just pinning that in place and let me show you how to sew this together 
so here I have marked the exact margin line where I'm sewing so you can see I'm just sewing on the exact margin with a quarter inch of seam allowance so uh, just going to sew exactly on the line that I have marked so little by little you're going to get into the neckline and you're going to finish off the V like this and make sure that when you come into the turning point uh, you put the needle in and turn the fabric alone to finish off the neckline like this so once the neckline is done I'm going to add some notches to the neckline make sure you snip out the pointed edge of the neckline like this and you're going to add some notches to the U and now I'm going to turn the neckline like this so you're going to turn the neckline nice and flat like this and you're going to pin that in place so always use lots of pin before sewing that make your work really simple and it just looks really beautiful so you'll get a very neat outlook once you pin and sew the neckline so now I'm just sewing that on top like this So first you are going to sew at the exact margin, anyhow I am going to attach a lace to this neckline. So I am just sewing on the exact margin of the neckline like this. So when I get into the exact pointed tip of my V, uh, make sure that you put the needle in and turn the fabric like this and you are going to sew all the way up. So now uh, I am going to show you how to attach the lace. So just take your lace and this is a straight lace you can't attach this lace on a U neckline so I'm just preparing that lace in a half a way so that I can attach that to my U neckline just place your pointing finger at the back side of the foot and you're going to sew on top of the lace this makes a beautiful gathering on the lace and now you can see uh, the lace is just fitting on the neckline like this so you can use any kind of straight lace to your U neckline. Always you have to follow this step just by gathering the lace and then you can attach that to the neckline. For sure it's going to sit perfect on your neckline and it's not going to have any kind of wrinkles. And this is how you're going to sew a straight lace on a U neckline. So when you come to the exact point of the turn, make sure you make a small pleat at the point of turn and you're going to sew all the way down to the V and again to the V point you're going to make a small pleat and you're going to go all the way up like this. Okay. So little by little I'm going to sew on top of my lace like this. And same like that when I come into my next side of the U, I'm going to remove the lace from the fabric. Again, I'm going to gather till what I want and now I'm going to attach the same on top of my neckline like this. So once my neckline is ready, I'm going to take a piece of fabric and I'm going to fold that in half. And just lift the neckline and place the fabric underneath the neckline so before attaching the neckline first you're going to mark the depth of the neckline for me I just want the depth of the neckline to be like 8 inches and I'm going to mark the depth to be like 8 inches on both the sides and now I'm going to attach the piece on the exact 8 inch marking so I'm going to sew on the exact margin like this to finish off the neckline like this. So it's a very perfect office wear neckline, very very neat neckline. So it just came out really well. Look at that. I just totally love this neckline. And if you want uh, the inner fabric to be uh, some other different kind of color, for sure you can make that. I just kept the red color as an inner fabric so that it goes well with the design. And that's it for now. And if you like this video and if you want more designer videos like this, don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below this video. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.